Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part five of Pikmin 3 Deluxe Blind. So let's just get right into it. We're going to reunite Brittany with Alfie, and then we're going to maybe find the captain. Maybe. I don't know what's happening next. And this time, I know I'm going to bring out the... Uh, I'm going to bring out the uh, other Pikmin to help me this time. I know my rights. Oh, it's Brittany. Morning, Alfie. I had to sleep outside last night. The area I camped out in seemed safe enough, though. The thing is, I'm getting pretty hungry. So let's find a way to get back together ASAP. All right. Let's actually do this this time. We're going to bring out 20 of each today because I was an idiot last time. So let's do this more efficiently and brilliantly. And uh, let's do this thing because I was the idiot who didn't realize that you could call out the pigment. I thought you were locked in by story progress. I am. Ap I apologize for my stupidity, but here it is. All right. So let's charge in with these guys so that they can bring out the, uh, so they can carry back the corpses over there. And then with that, we shall break this crystal and do all that. That way we can break down this glass wall. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Admittedly, I actually did, like, a lot, considering. Considering I couldn't really do that because I was an idiot. But, you know, I'll, I'll never not let that go. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to bring back my forces here. And also pluck out these new forces, then. And here we are. All right, let's split them up because this is a fire area up ahead. We got these fire slugs. Ooh. What are they? They'll pick them into a candy pop bud and they'll change color. Okay. That could be interesting. Huh? Picking up a signal from over there. I bet it's the captain, but we need to bring this bridge first. No time for that. All right. Let's uh do this. Bring them down. There we go. And they got a strawberry. Okay. There we go. But more important matters. We need to get the bridge built. And I suppose we can bring in those rocks. We can bring in the Dwayne's. And wait. The bridge is going to be built, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. So we can do that. And uh, the rocks, the Dwayne's, will bring in the corpses of the uh, enemies so that they can increase in strength. Meanwhile, we can get the sun seed berry thingamabobs, whatever, to do that. And then we can break apart this crystal. Do that. And uh, let's see if they change color here. Like the thing says. Or rather they just. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. So that brings up possibilities. No, not throwing them there. You're not a fool. Like that Dwayne, like the Dwayne right there, who was a fool and was just chilling, like a villain. All right, so I believe that's that done, and we got some more rocks here. And as for Brittany, we might as well check up on her progress next. So yes, last time with her, her yellow Pikmin, uh. We can call about all of the all of the yellows, and uh, let's see what we can do. We 
Oh, we have to get those rocks in there, do we? Yeah, we do. Okay, so I'm going to have five of them do this. So that we can bring up more yell more choo-choos. And then, once we get that done, we'll have six more so that we can do... So that we can bump the mic like I always do. Because what's the point of even doing a Let's Play if you keep on bumping the mic? <clears throat> or as I've learned in my... In my travels as a voice actor, not really because, you know, can't really do... Keep bumping the mic, stop it! Because in my travels, well, not really as a voice actor for Final Fantasy VII, because, you know, I can do a damn good Sephiroth if I say so myself. And also, you're alive. Thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, I feel a warm breeze from in here, so... No, you can't do anything with that yet. So, we're gonna need rocks. In my travels as a voice actor for Barrett and Sephiroth, I learned not to bump the mic because it, that's not proper kosher, isn't it? That's not kosher for a voice actor to do that. No, sir. And I'm thinking, God, this isn't one of those games where... Uh, you know, where that thing happens, where there's an invisible wall where you can clearly drop. What is that thing over there? I want to know him. So wait, do you actually get to know the enemies? Yes, you do. So the bulb orb, the medusal slurker, scutter chuck, yellow wally wog. Fiery Blowhog. Yeah, that's it. Armored Ma Dad. Pyroclasmic Slooch. Female Sheer Grub. And Dwarf Bulb Bulb. So we're just going to go all the way back to the start. What is this coating of pure fire? Now that's armor, which it needs because it's very slow of mood to attack. Even the fire does nothing against Red Pikmin. Back to the drawing board. So I believe this was added in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. The Piccolopedia from Pikmin 2 is around. And you can view descriptions of enemies and other such stuff. So that's pretty cool. Bearded Armprat. Amprat, or whatever. Creep up behind the Bearded Armprat and Pratt for take it by surprise. Yellow Pikmin should have no problem. Okay, so it's Amp in the name, so obviously that means electricity. Yep, that means electricity! That basically means electricity. So, we're gonna have our yellows go over here. Well, most of them. I don't want all of them over there. But, here we go. Alright. 15 yellows. Do it! Yeah! Yeah! Beat up. Yee. You're going to take it over to your onion. So, absolutely not. You're going to leave the corpses over there. And might as well get nectar from the eggs. Keep up the strong, buddy. Wait, which button is it to manually, you know... Uh, mobilize the Pikmin or something like that because uh, is there no such button or I mean, whatever and uh, actually let me change my radar orientation actually okay, here we go okay, so uh, that clearly jumps over there or there's another fruit, actually. Okay, but we definitely need another guy for that, and we don't have another guy for that. And, uh, yeah, we definitely need to go to the other side. So, let's uh, bring up every single force that we have to go to Brittany's side. 
because we're just gonna keep th keep keep throwing and throwing and throwing our picks until we get exactly what we need. All right. So with that, let's go. Let us go indeed. So can rocks break it? No. They absolutely can't. Okay, well that's one thing. And then the other thing is we do need rocks to break open this. And whoa, whoa, okay, so that's what they do. Makes it so that they jump. Ah, <laughs> uh, cute, adorable. I like how they're just like, wee! <laughs> That's really cute. And oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. I just remembered. We actually do need to uh, to get these rocks over to where the yellow onion is actually. Okay, here we go. Break it open with the crystal, baby. And there it is, more fruit. But we can't exactly do that yet because we don't have the bridge complete. Absolutely not. Yes, we don't. There's nothing more to this area, right, though? Aside from the fruit? No. Okay, so now I have a general idea of what to do now. A general idea of what to do, because now we know that this can be used as some sort of bridge. So, yeah, let's uh, do that then. Because the mushrooms can be used as some sort of spring. So we can use the springs to well, move right along. And I will not have the joust thingy kill me. No, I will not. Is that what we need to do? Well, it probably isn't because that's where the thing is. Wait, is there a way around it? No, there isn't a way around it. No, wait, it was on the other... Wait, where we need, where we need to go for the other thing is on the other side. <laughs> I am I am completely wasting time. I'm sorry. This is just what you have to deal with when blind let's plays are happening. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay, so I'm only assuming that uh this has something to do with that. Oh my god. What the frick are you? I wanna charge you and bum rush you. Got you. Thank you, God. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. Okay. All right, then charge from behind. Because that seems to be the, the legit only strategy that you need to do. Throwing leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to throw leaders. Oh, what the fuck? Is that like an anteater? It is an anteater, Bulborb. It is. Oh my god, it is. It's an anteater, Bulborb. That's kind of cute, actually. All right, so we got we got enough. <laughs> Man, that's kind of cute. That really is cute. Oh my god. They just slide down the thing. That's cute. This game is cute. <laughs> Man. And since it was basically one trip only. That's it. We got it. Yes, the bridge is complete. Now I can finally reunite with Alf and make out with him because he's my boyfriend, apparently. You know, they have the they have the nicknames and, and stuff, so you know. Maybe. 
All right, let's reunite with them, shall we? Yes, we shall. Probably one of the last major things we're going to be doing. Probably the rest of the, th rest of the, rest of the job is probably going to be just, you know, getting the fruit to the, uh, to the Drake. Then. All right, we have the proper channels, so let's carry all of this way back over here. Let's get as many Pikmin as we possibly can to get back, to get back the fruit as fast as possible back to the Drake, without shocking ourselves, mind you. Yes, without shocking ourselves. That way we can move to victory. Yes, we can. And we'll just basically wait for them to get back to us. Stop doing that thing. Thank you very much. All right, we got both of the fruit back. So let's see what else. Uh, well, uh... We can try to go for that fruit over there, actually. For those big-ass grapes. So why don't we do that? Let's see if we can challenge ourselves. Let's see if we can get that thing before the day's end. You know, without the jostle mate trying to kill us. There we go. The thing didn't die, thank God. Uh, I want more yellows in there. So, I want... Bring that back to over there. Actually, let's see. Wait. They won't cause any trouble, will they? No, they're good. Okay, so... The grapes are over there. Those grapes are over there. And uh, let's see if we can actually make it over there to that spot before. Actually, can we just direct the yellow Pikmin over here? No, we can't actually. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. There is that. There is that other one that we can do, actually. Yeah, that other one. That was by the, uh, thing. Probably gonna have to, hur gonna have to hurry, though, because... You know, the day's almost over, obviously. And we're gonna want to do this quickly. Of course. And no, that just leads to over there. What am I what am I doing? Well, unfortunately, only one's gonna have to be left out in the dust, so. Uh yellows, you can go ahead and just uh carry that back then. Well, I suppose a rock can do that too. So I suppose that'll be the last thing that we do here is just hopefully see if these guys can make it back in time. Um, I don't really think that the yellows, the choo-choos can make it back in time. Just as long as they're safe there, we're okay. Actually, can they make it, though? That's the question. I do have 14. I think, unfortunately, one's going to have to be left behind here. Oh, there's a red right there. I'm going to go get that one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, I know time isn't relevant by seconds, but... Come on. Come on, you wimps. You wimps! Get in there. Find him. There he is. Yeah, we got him. We're good. All right. We're good. We're good. And we can just basically end the day just like that. Okay, that probably would have taken a laugh quicker if I just knew that, you know, you could get called those Pikmin out of the onion. I thought it was, my brain thought it was like legitimately a story blocked thing where, story locked thing where, uh, where, uh, the onion that are onion, that's not the yellow one. 
um, didn't have the ability to call or return Pikmin for this story moment because it was such a big moment in the story where, you know, Alf and Brittany are separated. But, you know, I was stupid. But that's okay, because the yellow one is now merging. I see. How fascinating. So that's how the onions evolve. It looks bigger now, doesn't it? Uh, uh, yes, it does. So we got three pieces of fruit today. We got the sunseed berry. Again. And we have the new fruit, which is the disguised delicacy. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Looks kind of cool, man. Five types of fruit. That's a wide variety of fruit on this planet. I wonder what else is out there. Let's keep exploring. Yes, indeed. I was so hungry, I could have juiced the drink itself. Well, there you go. We can live for eight more days. Let's see about day five, though, because unfortunately we did lose some. Actually, no, not really. No. We only gained. Actually, I think we did lose some. But, yeah. We only lost five Pikmin so far. Not terrible, but still okay. We finally competed the bridge over by the shore. And Br and Brittany discovered a type of yellow Pikmin. Besides their big gears, I'm excited to find out what unique other unique characteristics they must possess. I'll have to observe them closely. Good thing they're so cute to look at. Phew, what a day! What a day indeed. Got plenty done. We got more fruit. We reunited with our buddies. Again, probably would have done day f four, but no. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm never going to let that go. I'm so relieved you're okay, Brittany. It was a close call. I never would have made it out of there if it wasn't for those yellow Pikmin. Those little guys sure are a little helpful. If our mission is a success, we should have a party to thank all the little Pikmin. We definitely should. The fruits on this planet are quite delicious, aren't they? Definitely. They really do have their wonders, and they really do wonders for the skin. They must be because they have more picked... Picked them in you? Is that what they're called? More than most fruits native to Kopai. Yep. Eating all this grapefruit has really... Has pretty much cleared up those weird blotches you had. So let's gather as much as we can and bring it back home with us. For everyone's sake. Yes, indeed, we shall indeed. Now, we could go back to, to take care of the stuff now that we have yellow Pikmin, but I do want to get more types of Pikmin first before we move on to older areas, just so that we can see what we can do. So, yeah, this could go on for a little bit. So on to next time with Pikmin 3, getting more fruit. Hopefully finding the captain. Probably not, because when am I going to be in this game? God damn it. All right. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching.